interest as a part of career guidance sessions at schools we will enable students to make informed choices and transitions let us understand the key concepts and steps that we teach to enable this the first step students will learn about in the sessions is self awareness or knowing oneself self awareness has three main pillars the first of which is interest which we will talk about in this video so what is an interest and how is it related to career guidance well interest is defined as something that an individual likes doing enjoys doing and wants to learn more about one's interests can later remain as one's hobbies or can become the career one chooses the main purpose of using interests in making a career choice is to help students narrow down their options and shortlist the careers that they would a enjoy pursuing on a daily basis or for longer periods of time b feel committed to learning more about now let's look at how you can help your students identify their interests and associated careers to identify interests we use a psychometric test which assesses and analyzes students likes and dislikes in an objective manner this enables students to understand what careers they might be best suited to pursue this test has a list of 48 questions that are printed in the student book students must answer with a yes or no for each question based on whether they currently enjoy doing the activity or not The test might take approximately 20 minutes for students to answer. Student responses are recorded on OMR sheets which they need to bubble. Student answers are interpreted and their interest groups are identified. There are up to 6 interest groups. However, to make shortlisting process easy, students are encouraged to identify their top 3 interest groups. To identify the top 3 interest groups, Each student will begin to calculate the total number of yeses in every 8 questions that is number of yeses in question 1 to 8 9 to 16 17 to 24 25 to 32 33 to 40 and 41 to 48 and write in the table shown as below once students have counted and written the number of yeses for each question set in the table they can circle the three highest scores These will indicate their top 3 interest codes. If a student has a tie amongst more than 3 interest codes, a conversation with the student is helpful in assessing the student to shortlist the interest codes further. Students may have a combination of 3 interests from the following groups. Group 1, realistic. This indicates that one likes working outdoors with machines, plants or animals and being in situations that involve active physical presence and involvement group 2 investigative this means one likes thinking critically about problems and finding solutions researching and drawing conclusions group 3 artistic as the name suggests it means one likes creating original work in any form not just limited to visual arts they enjoy working with aesthetics and new ideas group 4 social which means one likes working with people and mainly for people to help or guide others group 5 enterprising this means one likes working with people but rather to lead them persuade them or sell to them group 6 conventional lastly a person in this group likes to keep things data or objects organized they enjoy working with lists rules and systems in a structured way once a student has their own interest codes they can use it to correlate to a career that has at least one code overlapping with their own for example if i have the interest code of realistic social and creative i would probably enjoy being a teacher because in my role i would work in the classroom teach students and find interactive ways to teach my sessions I might also enjoy being a graphic designer because in my role I would create new and original designs. Hence, each student may have a list of careers that they might enjoy pursuing in the future. As you continue to explore the theme of interests, think of how you would want to introduce the idea of interests to your students to assist them in choosing a career for themselves.